It's actually every second year that we organize uh, uh, such an event that is uh, uh, an NIR uh, seminar. So we focus especially on, uh, on what our customers do with the NIR instruments they have from, uh, from FOSS. Today we have uh, six guest speakers, of which five are external uh, companies uh, um, explaining about how they use uh, NIR instruments. We started in the 80s already uh, using NIR and, and built up a lot of experience. Made a lot of errors of course as well in the, in the setup of our network, but, but sharing these experiences and, and improvements that we, we had over the last years, it's really important to share I think. Net networking is indeed really important, especially where your network is growing. The complete presentation was not only talking about this physical connection, but also everything else that's important. Standardization of your instruments, standardization on sample preparation, on laboratory. That's the complete networking picture, which is important if your network starts growing. Explaining about how they use our software, explaining about how they sample, uh, how they take samples. Uh, they, they, they've been talking about sampling errors. Uh, there's uh, also been a bit of uh, theory on uh, discriminant analysis. So there's all sorts of items that we have been discussing. NIR users often face the same kind of challenges. And if we can control these challenges, we, we really can learn from each other. Today I, I'm presenting about uh, analysis uh, variants and how to be able to monitor and know where the variance is coming from and what you can do about it. And that, that could be really help to improve the NAR predictions and also the use of NAR measurements. Because um, if we don't know about the variances, the influences like for example a sample presentation, how you take samples, how you handle your samples that really influences your NAR measurements and often it's taken uh, for the responsibility to the NAR while it's actually the preparation where the error is. Well, our 6500 devices were very old so and this was a really good opportunity to go to the new instruments to um, also new software uh, uh, together with the new instruments so we were a little bit obliged uh, to do the transition but we are very glad we made it. When we move from the old 6500 uh, unit to the DS2500, uh, we had a, a lot of help from the FOSS people, so it was a very smooth transition. Um, we used our uh, equation from the 6500 and we could easily put it into the 2500 device just by adding new scans, new spectra from the old and the new devices. So we built it up very fast in one week period. Everybody of course is doing a good job but it's always nice to have some feedback from uh, uh, colleagues uh, and our users of how they are using it. And so I'm hoping that tomorrow when they get back to their offices, to their laboratories, that they feel inspired by this uh, seminar, that they, uh, that they maybe try some other things and that they try to